And today, today was World Mental Health Day 2021. Covid has had a major impact on people's mental health particularly healthcare workers, frontline workers, students, people with pre-existing mental health conditions and people living alone. And unfortunately, the same thing that's affected them has also affected the services they need. It is good that the World Health Assembly, governments from all over the world, met in 2021 and acknowledged that we do need to improve all levels of mental health services and tackle root causes. But of course, that, that's not enough. Words and acknowledgement isn't enough, we need to keep the pressure on them. Depression is particularly common and it is a massive problem because whereas for some it just lasts for a couple of days, something like that, for others it can lead to suicide. It can happen to literally anyone and it is characterised by a persistent melancholy or sadness and little or no interest in doing anything, especially if it's things you normally like doing, and finding day-to-day -day tasks tiring or difficult. It's very, very easy for that individual to do nothing. Just sleep, just eat, just drink, just take drugs. Uh, but all of these things uh, are only gonna make the problem worse. Depression can be common during pregnancy, after childbirth, in young children, in young adults, in old adults. So, like I say, pretty much anyone really. One of the themes for Mental Health Day some organisations are focusing on this year is mental health in an unequal world. And there are certain collective groups that struggle more than others. Black people are four times more likely to be sectioned. LGBT people are more at risk from self-harm or suicide. Children from the 20% poorest households are four times more likely uh, to suffer from a mental health problem. People with learning difficulties, three times more likely. People with profound hearing impairment, uh, twice more likely. Uh, people who are homeless, that's off the scale. People with severe mental health problems have got a shorter life expectancy. People with a social disadvantage, whatever the reason for it is, whatever the causes are, are far more likely to be affected. Debt is a major factor. And here in the UK, of course, we've just had the £20 cut to universal credit, which does affect the poorest in society. And this is happening despite the fact that studies have shown it will, will plunge them into debt. Think about that. It's being done despite the fact it will do that. So inequality is the issue, and until we seriously, seriously address that, uh, we cannot slow the mental health crisis. We can't. NHS Digital has repeatedly shown that mental health services are far, far from equally distributed. And paradoxically, uh, the groups of people who are most likely to suffer from mental health issues are the ones who are going to struggle uh, to get the services they need. So although just a summary, still lots to think about and contemplate on there. Lots of food for thought. World Mental Health Day 2021. See you next time.